see it, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I don't know that it will do it. probably does, but I don't know. All right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we'll call this uh, September meeting of the Valdosta Lowndes County Zone Board of Appeals to order. Everyone in attendance, please make sure and sign in on the attendance sheet at the back of the room. Before we begin, I'll explain the process for the meeting. I will call each case on a case by case name and case number. The city or county representing staff will come to the lectern to present the facts of the case. After presentation, the board may or may not ask staff questions. Once the board, had, once the board has heard the case and asked all questions necessary to the staff, we will move to hearing from either the applicant or the applicant's representation. After hearing from the applicant, we will hear from anyone else who wishes to express support for the case. Finally, we will hear from anyone who wishes to, hear, to express opposition to the case. Anyone addressing the board will please come to the lectern and give, the name and ad, give their name and address for the record. For clarity and respect, we ask that only the person at the lectern address the board and that the audience give them an uninterrupted chance to be heard. If there is important information that you feel we need to consider, then please come to the lectern when it is your turn and you are called. In the interest of time, though, the board asks that you keep your comments brief and to the point. Please do not come to the lectern only to restate the same information we have already been given by someone else. Once the board has had the chance to hear from all sides on the matter and ask any questions we feel are necessary, then we will render a decision. If we do not feel that the necessary information is available to render a decision today, then we may decide to table the case for the next <coughs> meeting. Please be aware that this board is here today only to address various applications to the zoning codes for Lowndes County and the City of Valdosta. This is the only matter on which this board has been given the power to render a decision. We cannot and do not have the power to address any other matters that are not covered by the zoning codes of Lowndes County or the City of Valdosta. Now, uh, we'll call the first item, uh, VAR 2019-10, Thomas Gregory Lee, 4349 McMullen Drive. Thank you, Mr. Chair.
which is why he's here today to request uh, a 14 foot variance because the UODC requires um, a side yard of 20 feet within an R1 zoning district. And that's, uh, that's our request, a request for a variance of 14 feet uh, to the side yard setback in order for him to be able to erect his uh, open metal carport in order to house his camper. He has um, talked to several of the neighbors. They actually signed his letter of intent. Um, and he's even willing to, he said, should uh, the current neighbor ever move away and the new folks come in, if they did not like it, he said that he would be willing to remove. Questions for staff. Did the property owner to the north sign this letter in the that, That'd be me. <laughs> I'm right next door. <laughs> yes. And the only reason it ain't there, uh, we went on vacation right before she pulled up. <laughs> Anything else? Any other questions for staff? They're there. Yeah, I did that. The white line that you've got marked on there, that is the yes. closer proclamation of the property. Yes. Yeah, we pulled a string on the metal stalls. That, that, the white line is the property line, and the orange is, is what I proposed at that time. It was actually closer, and I moved it uh, you know, this, this way in a little bit. But that's the driveway is in, in the way of every bit. If I did do the 20 feet, it'd be pretty much in the middle of the driveway. All right. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you. Sir. Um, would the owner of the owner's representation like to speak on behalf? Uh, she pretty much fell it out. I mean, I, there was a, a bunch of talk about can you do it on the other side? And my well house is on the other side. They, they're uh, without putting another driveway in, and then you got the permit for all of that, of course. That was the the best route uh, to represent. The five, the, I'm sorry, the, the six foot setback, that is going to be to the closest support pole, or is that going to be to the side of the camp? It's closest to the support pole. That, the, that orange line is what the building would be, that where the the front corner as to where I had it measured would be right there. And yeah. actually the way the property line goes, the building would be here and it gets further away from the property line on the back of the building because they're in at that angle. So it may be eight or nine feet back in the back, I didn't measure that. I, I just wanted to make certain that you were figuring six feet to the side of the camper with the slide out, which by the time you put the building in, it would be potentially like five feet or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And then if, if we granted you six and you built the five, now you're in violation. No, it would be, it would be six. I moved everything for that. That picture, I, I hadn't had moved it. I hadn't moved it yet, but I, I actually have the, uh, the orange line under the slide. I hate what you say. It, the whole thing is moved over. And it's six feet. The building will be six feet behind. And six feet is the, the, the bare minimum you got to have to try to get it I where you want it without obstructing other use on the driveway. That's right. That's why I marked out on the driveway how much of my driveway I'm going to have to cut out to so even do that. That's the whole thing is built towards the north side of the property, more so than the south. <coughs> Okay. Um, anybody else here in, in, would like to express some support? I don't have any objections. You put it on the line for all I can hear. I have no problems with it yet. I'm planning on being there a long, long time. So. Can we get your name and address for the record? Be Dean Dasher. I'm 4371 on the drive. I'm on that, I'm on that house right next door there. Okay. Thank you, sir. 
All right, I take it there's nobody here in opposition. Um, or does Sarah contact your office about this? No, sir. Okay. All right, unless anybody has anybody else has any questions? Would we like to make a motion? I'll make a motion to grant the request as presented, citing criteria D as primary. We have a second? I have a second. All those in favor? All right. It's unanimous. All right. Mr. Thomas. Yeah. Good deal. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right. We will move on to other business. Um, I think everybody's got a copy of the meeting minutes or has been sent a copy of the meeting minutes. Anybody seen changes or errors that need to be addressed? Anybody like to make a motion? I'll make the motion to accept the minutes as presented. We have a second. Second. I'm sorry, please. Okay. All right. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? I won't stay. I wasn't here. I guess I Okay. All right, um, additional business uh, we have before us, which we discussed last time, was an attendance record. Um, just go forward uh, for members on the board. Uh, this is what's been drafted up and looks good to me. If you don't like the format, let me know. I'm open to ideas. Is this different from the one that we had previously adopted that I sent the minutes from our adoption? The, um, are we talking about the attendance policy? Yes. Okay. Um, I did not read what you said. I'd have to look through my email. I do have a question. Um, are the other boards uh, that accept the attendance policy and if so, is it similar to this one? Yeah, yes, we have other well, we have other city boards. I won't speak for other county boards, but we have other city boards with kind of similar policies. And if you have the so any board of appeals and desires, I can provide I think it would be wise if we uh, compare okay. with those before we accept them. Okay. Fairly city boards or city and county boards or uh, why not both, you know, absent is absent, present is present. I've got a question. Tracy, I, I'm a court lawyer. Mm -hmm. I'm not an office lawyer. Mm -hmm. I'm in court every day and hang here. Mm -hmm. Today I was hung up uh, and I, I left there probably 30 minutes ago. Some days I get stuck in there a while and I can't really tell you. I can tell you, hey, I got court in the morning. I think I'll be there. It, the procedure I'm following in that is just letting you know as soon as I know when I'm going to be stuck in court. Is that okay? Or, or do, you know, if I need to resign because I, my schedule is too bad in the court. I, you know, I, I can do whatever you need. I will open it up to board discussion. Um, I will tell you that I've been here 11, 11 years, and we can't do business without a board. Getting a court is important. I'll open that up to board discussion. I think in general in the past, the way it's been handled is that um, any business related, you know, as long as we can meet a quorum, any business related uh, reasons for needing to be um, absent was excused. Is that, you were the chairman longer than, much longer than I was. Is that the policy? When, when this all came about, just as a general information to everybody, there are, I forget how many, 10, 11, 12, 13 different committees or commissions 22. or whatever. There's a 22? Okay. <laughs> In all the years that I've been on the Zoning Board of Appeals, there was one instance where we didn't have a quorum, which is pretty darn good, I think. And at that point, we actually had less members 
after we had that one situation, we actually got the city and the county to add one more member of peace to give us a better shot at a quorum. We were not, the Zelling Board of Appeal was not one of the uh, groups that was targeted by the city and the county saying we need to do a better job of policing. There were, there was at least two other com uh, commissions or whatever that were relatively routinely short handed. And when this all started happening and I did a little bit of research talking to the city and the county, they were very pleased with what we had done and it was not aimed at us, but they felt like all of them should be under the same umbrella and I said I totally agree. And when I asked at that point about a chart of keeping up with it, that was not something that they felt like was real important, especially for us. And that's why we never did start doing an actual chart. In all honesty, Ms. Teresa, our city clerk, I kind of, she let me borrow this format for us. Um, she's kept an appendix chart spreadsheet for lack of a better word for the last two or three years or so. She did not have a current 2019 one, so she let me her format and let me update it to reflect 2019 stats for lack of a better word. So that's where this combination came from. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. No, no, go ahead. Oh. I want to say, as far as my opinion and all of this, I, I really don't want to see a reason for the tense policy. I mean, as far as you know, this board is concerned, I can't speak for any experience or any knowledge of other boards only from what I'm used to knowing. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't particularly see a reason for having one because there's still a lot of great areas. It's, it's more than just saying, um, will, will, won't be accepted, what's excused, what's not excused. Those still gray areas as well, because if we say, hey, this is business related, and on my definition, what well, is business related? Well, it's, it's my definition of business, and your definition of business is the same thing. So I think we open up, a, we open up Pandora's box that I don't think that's that's necessary. I mean, there have been some times in the past where I've been seeing that was business related, but if no one ever asked me, you know, the reason for your absence, then of course I would never have a chance to tell them, hey, it was this reason or that reason. So I'm just only just saying, and that's why I was asking about other boards and what they have and, you know, what was, you know, some of their uh, ideals. But me personally, I just let it be known, I don't really think we need one. All of us here are professional individuals. I think if we could make it here, we would be here. And I understand, I understand your point, but the bottom line was, there was a particular board that was unable to do any, unable to do any business several meetings in a row because their membership didn't show up. Was it this board? No, it was not. It was another. It was another entity board. Um, if you don't show up, we can't have a meeting. He can't hear. He can't hear the decision about his tax. Bottom line. And I understand. I would like. I would like to have the thought that if. Any, I understand flat tires, I understand sick kids, I understand work. I don't think any of us is going to argue. But there's a point, there's a balance where if you're meeting, if you're missing eight meetings a year, you don't need to be on board. I, I, and where that balance is, I don't know that it's for me to call. Correct. But there's, there's a balance. And honestly, with this particular board, these folks were coming. And there were folks like him, there were citizens who weren't getting their needs met because this board didn't show up. We, we've been having that problem, but we didn't have a we, we, we have We've had that one in 11 years. Okay, so that's a hypothetical record. You're correct. You're correct. But we were encouraged, speaking from the city standpoint only, we were encouraged to have our boards adopt an attendance policy. So if it became an issue, we can address it hopefully in a tactful manner. Okay. Uh, now, like I say, only my opinion. But if you if you was uh, appointed by 
the city council or who's appointed by the county commission, that should still be within the power of those government bodies. I mean, like if you know if you don't show up in attendance for you know for whoever appointed you, then you best believe that when it comes time to your appointment, they'll remember your attendance policy and they say, hey, well, you know, I remember you know his record, you know, he, this was excused or unexcused or whatever the case may be. I'm only just saying though, I mean, like, is it is it something that we should take up? with the city council and county commission, like is it something that they may want to speak on because, you know, uh, like, like for us, for instance, this year, if, if our tennis policy is pretty much impeccable as far as having reform in the last 11 years, then maybe this is for the, the, the board that that didn't have, you know, that didn't meet the core criteria. I'm only just saying, I just think that because a lot of us, you know, everybody here is professional, everybody here, you know, uh, well, like individuals, I just, I just feel like, does this apply to our board? That's the only thing that I'm just trying to understand. In all, in all honesty, currently it does because that was what was adopted by the board. Granted, in 2013, but this was what was adopted by the zoning board. Okay, my question. And we, oh, we were. It was sent down as a request, but it was also, uh, you know, we expect all boards and commissions to adopt a policy, and that's why ours reads what it reads. This is, and this is patterned after several of the other ones. I have five corrections email right here that included the, what was read in and, uh, and what was considered. Um, it looks to me like our plan, our attendance policy was modeled after um, the Greater Allowance Planning Commission, Valdosta Historic Preservation Commission, and the Central Valdosta Development Authority. Um, all three of those, their attendance policies were looked at. Um, two of them are basically three consecutive uh, regular meetings failing to attend, and you're asked to be removed from the board. Um, Central Valdosta Development Authority is a little bit different in that it's basically you have to attend 90% of all meetings. But, so it sounds like ours is within, is well within the, the norm of the other boards um, and the other commissions. Uh, and, you know, we were asked to, uh, to adopt some sort of an attendance policy. Um, you know, uh, I think that while it has not been an issue in the past, um, and I think this board has been, you know, everybody's put quite a bit of effort in attending this board over the years. Um, you know, we don't know what might happen in the future and who might be appointed to the board in the future, and I think it's a, just as a safety measure, you know, it doesn't hurt anything to have a basic attendance policy. And as far as just the record goes, the only reason I brought it up was, you know, in the past couple of meetings when this originally got brought up was simply that we, we have an attendance policy but we never had a record anywhere of the actual attendance of people. And, you know, when people are appointed to the board, questions come up as to, you know, whether they have been attending or not. And if we don't have a record to answer that question for the city council or the county commissioners who are considering that person for appointment or reappointment, you know, it would help to give them, the, my only point was it would help to give them that information. This was not intended as, an, as an, uh, uh, a stick uh, or a carrot. It was simply, you know, just a measure of keeping a record. That's all. So, I, you know, that's, that's the only reason I brought that up originally. But the only reason I provided it to the board as a whole is because I knew it was going to be up for discussion. Um, we haven't had a problem with this board, but I think maybe the reason we haven't had a problem is because we do have rules. And there's a subtleness there to remind each and every one of us if, let's say, you know, we're kind of busy one day and we think, gosh, I, I might just skip today, this is volunteer work anyway. It keeps everybody in check. And we all need that. I mean, everybody needs some sort of rules and, and checks to go by. 
And I think it's important to remember that our main goal is here for the applicants. Um, so many cases we've heard that have been controversial. Um, we've had people that have gathered their support teams or their opposition teams, and there might be 50 people here. And if we don't have enough people showing up, those people have to come back. And I don't think it's, it's doing justice to the citizens that we're supposed to be hearing the cases of. They pay a lot of money for the application for a variance, and it's important that we show up unless it's a real good reason not to. And in all honesty, that's one of the reasons why I call you that nine times out of ten the day before the meeting is so I could remind y'all. And then number two, I've got an, I, a reasonable idea whether we're going to have a forum or not. I mean, if only two of you say, yes, I'm going to be there, and the rest of you aren't, we've got a reason. I, I want to chime in and say I agree 100% with Nancy. The reason why we're here is to serve the citizens of this community. And today we have one applicant, and sometimes we have five or seven, and a room full of people. And it's our obligation um, as appointees to do our public service and come to these meetings. Also, I think on this board and on the planning commission, the people that serve on those boards have an obligation to go and visit the sites and to understand what it is that they're looking at. To not just come to this meeting and say, la di da I opened up my papers and yes or no. Because when you sometimes see, you drive around the neighborhoods and you see, go, well, oh yeah, I see why that's a problem. Or I see that that's not a problem. And we're appointed by the governing bodies and the governing bodies said to us, they wanted us to have an attendance policy, so we have one. And one more thing, uh, we have a forum because some people very rarely miss. I can't think of maybe about two meetings that I had to chair when I was vice chair because now I missed. Um, I don't think Max missed meetings since he's been the chair. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we take this seriously and it shouldn't just fall upon five of us to make sure that we're always here to have a form. It should fall upon all eight of us to make sure that we're all always here and offer the best decision possible. I'd like to get back to what we kind of got transferred here. And, and that is, I, I, I want to disclose to everybody in this board that I've got the worst attendance policy of anybody in this group. And what I'm telling you is, I get stuck in court. It happens often. Uh, July 2nd, I was in New York City because my daughter graduated from Auburn and I took her to New York City. Uh, August 6th, I got up six, I was stuck in court. June 4th, I was stuck in court. I don't, I can't remember off the top of my head the other two, but very likely I got stuck in court. I'm not at the bar. I'm not uh, playing golf. I work for a living every day. And if I'm not here, it's because of one of those two reasons. But if it's not enough, what I'm saying is, I'll gladly resign. Y'all are really good attenders. Everybody else here is really good. Uh, but uh, I see I'm not I'm not so good. And what I'm really? telling you is I'd be glad to resign. I don't think that's when, anybody's intention. When, when, when I got this and sat down and looked at it, printed it off the computer, <coughs> and I was going to talk to Tracy either during the meeting or after the meeting, it's a little bit skewed if you want to use that word because the way it says and i'm talking about graph not not the policy graph the unexcused let's see the unexcused absence not an absence so maybe we ought to have a fourth color or something or maybe put some shade lines through it that says John was not here but he was in court and it was excused so it doesn't look like John is out doing whatever and it doesn't matter to him or whoever else if it ever came up and somebody else's graph or chart started looking real funny then it would, we'd have a better understanding that yeah he did make that meeting but it was because he had an excused absence because family situation or employment situation. 
or medical situation. And it, the, the graph doesn't have to say why it was unexcused or excused. It just needs to differentiate. Excused versus unexcused. Is that something you'd like me to go back to the start of the year? In if it's not a huge problem for you to create a fourth color or in case of black and white printers, like I say, maybe a, a hash mark in it that says this, he was not here, but he was excused and if it's... I can do that. That's not a problem. Mr. Chairman, I will request that or... I, 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 I agree 100%. I think that's a good point. Um, that, that can happen. Um, okay. Um, so do we want to approve it based on that, or do we want to wait and see the, the next uh, iteration of this before we vote? I, 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 I think it will be approved. Okay. Well, no, I want to say something before we vote. Sure. My thing is, when we approve something, what I ask why we approve it, you still see some gray areas. Someone say if and only if, maybe possibly, hopefully. It's, too, it's still too many gray areas. I think we should do our due diligence, and we should review but everyone else has, they may have had these same questions. See, and me personally, as a business owner, I'm 24 hours a day, but three businesses run 24 hours. I think this way. You see, I understand that, hey, let's not just jump into something that still got a couple of leaky holes in the boat. Let's make sure we determine the material of the boat we use before we build the boat. But I'm only just saying, let's just wait. Why be so quick? The job is a tennis policy. Just, just so we're clear, first of all, all right now all we're talking about is the record of the attendance. You know, we weren't talking about going back and redoing the attendance policy at this point. I think if we if we are going to open the attendance policy itself up to completely redoing it, um, then I you know I, obviously we can do that if everybody would like to go back and, and go back through that. Um, all 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 this was addressing was just the recording of it. Um, right. So, uh, you know, again, I think that you know, if, if we want to open the attendance policy up and 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 readdress that all over again, I, you know, and that's what I was thinking of the policy, the, the procedure to do that. But we need a motion to. Uh, we probably need a motion to to open that, and so I. And, I, and I'm just, I'm just want to just think logic on this. Like, yeah, I'm talking about attendant policy. I'm not really, I'm not even talking about the roster. I don't think I, I want my business on here, whether I was in court or whether I was in the smoke room. I just don't, I don't see that. Just like, for instance, this is 2013. Okay, this says this was adopted 2013 with no signatures. How is it technically adopted if there's no signatures or approval? I mean, that's just one great area there. We never signed off. Is this signed? Is this signed? It's, signed it's recorded in the meeting minutes of the of the procedure of the, the meeting when it was adopted. And I can email you that just for yeah. And we and we signed for this? No, it, was, it was adopted, it was adopted by, the board. by the board. I don't remember the vote, but it was adopted by the board. Correct me if I'm wrong, it was 2012 or 13. November. Yeah. It was adopted. We we looked at it. There was discussion of it. I don't remember. I think we tweaked it a little bit, and then we adopted it. But this is the version. This is the official version of Okay. Well, let me ask you: If this was adopted, then why are we even? If it's already within our, you know, our documents, then I'm just now now wondering what what are we actually doing now? Are we? I mean, we're addressing this. That that was the the record of it is all we were addressing. We weren't actually addressing the attendance policy itself, although you know some questions got brought up about that in the last meeting, and and Gretchen graciously emailed that record out so that everybody could have a copy of it and be reminded of what the actual policy was. But the the initial motion was to add just simply a record keeping to the attendance policy itself. It that was not, all. It was not my intent to open up a can of work to nope. stir up anything. You didn't open it, it I did. I'm the one that brought it up. It was so. to provide a copy of the, of the yearly chart and purely for information and purposes only. 
Do we know what the vote was for the adoption of the uh, policy of 2013? No, but I can email with I can email with okay. this afternoon. All right. That's what we need to have for the president. That another thing in 2013, the bridge on, on 84 was. It doesn't matter what the vote was, it was approved. So right. whether one person said no or everybody said yes, it doesn't matter. We approved it. Well, let me ask you. You don't change it every time you change right. a member out for another member. I mean. Okay, this is my this is my question. Mm -hmm. This is my this is my question. If it was adopted 11-5-2013, mm -hmm. okay, now it's what, seven years, almost seven years now? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't even know if that bridge on 84 is better than Maybe it was a problem with folks getting from the other side of town, from off of River Street. I, I just don't, I just don't know. It's still kind of gray area, it's still vague. I just think, like I was saying, we should look at what other boards adopted and see what, what do they have here or don't have here, and what was the reason for it? Okay, maybe, maybe this was the quick. Would you like to make a motion to open the attendance policy up to be reconsidered? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do we have a second on that motion? I'll second. Okay. All those in favor? We have two. All those against? We have three, four, sorry, four. I think that's the quickest way to. Expedite the discussion. Now, um, would somebody like to make a motion on the uh, attendance policy roster as, dis as discussed with, with the changes that were recommended? I will make a motion to adopt the graph spreadsheet with the addition of the fourth category okay. of absent but excused. Do we have a second? I'll second. All those in favor? Uh, all those against? We have one against and two, five, four. Okay. Motion passes. Um, Is this something for someone? Um, do y'all want to see the roster monthly? Do you want to see it quarterly? How often do you those want to Those are all great courses. Any other business that we need to discuss? I got a quick question. Um, so on the report it says variance may be granted upon a finding by the ZBA that all of the following conditions have been met, and it goes through lists A through J. But for so long we've always said it's that that's for the county. Those are for county. For the county, you only have to meet one, and for the city, you have to meet them all. Okay. They're the opposite. One is you only have to meet one. County, you have to meet one. Mm -hmm. The city, city you have to meet them all. Right, okay. That's when, you, when we're discussing it, and I'm here and I'm in. No, no, it's correct. The county has to have pick one. Yeah. It doesn't mean that others didn't apply, but you pick one that gives the most prompt. Okay. The city, when you when we make a motion, we just either adopt or, den or deny. We don't have to give the basis of And we don't give the basis okay. because it's already in there that it theoretically is supposed to meet every one of these before we can vote to uh, accept okay. approve it. And it's, this has been something in for, for many years. When after they adopted the ULDC and the city and the county sort of separated a little, if you want to call it. Before then, it was almost identical. Mm -hmm. And then when they adopted ULDC, it made it a little bit more tenuous because the, the city wanted to meet everything. The county said, as long as it meets one of these, we're good. Right. All right. Any other business? All right, thank you all very much. We are adjourned.